In this video, we are playing the Halloween update inside of King Legacy. And I'm very happy about this because in this update, they added back all of the old Halloween items. So I no longer have to trade for them, especially the Pumpkin Smasher, which is incredibly expensive to trade for, or well, at least it was. So if you haven't already and you do enjoy this video, please drop a quick like and subscribe. It is free and it does help out the channel. But let's go ahead and get started because they also changed a lot this update. All right, let's see. Three new quests. We should destroy those 12 pumpkins again, all right? Well, it says again, but I never played the original Halloween event because I've only been playing this game for about a week. Here's the market. I get the pumpkin head for 350 candy, halo shawl for 500, hollow lamb for 500, and the shawl for 750. Okay, there's a pumpkin. So we need to destroy 12 pumpkins for this quest. Let's see how much we can get from the three dailies. Luckily, everyone appears to have their own pumpkins too. Oh my gosh, this fog. Oh, they also like changed a bunch of stuff. Like they changed shift lock to where it goes up instead of to the sides. That's nice. They really changed a lot of things. I mean, I'll pop the update log on the screen right now so you can read it yourself. But like, what the heck? A lot of stuff. I'm mainly kind of excited, but a little disappointed about the black market because I just spent forever trading for flames literally two days ago. And now they're probably a lot easier to get if you just farm money. There's 10. But I mean, expensive because they raised the prices and stuff like that. But overall, pretty good changes. Pumpkin Smasher's back too, which I'm happy about. That's the one item I was dreading trying to trade for. If I get that one, then the only item that I'm missing that you can't currently get is the Xmas Blade. And I just, you just, just not tradable. It's not enabled. Here's number 11. One more. Ah, here it is. There you go. So we got only seven candy. Are you okay? This is gonna take a while. Seven candy. They look very Christmassy, not gonna lie. And then we got Battle Pass experience, which is great because I'm still doing Battle Pass. What rank am I at? Yeah, we, we're on rank 33 right now. So we're over halfway done. Number wise, experience wise, not even close. Okay, Left for Dead. Can you defeat six dead? Oh my gosh, that's on the other side of the world. Okay, I'll I'll reclaim that. What is it? Thriller. Skull Pirates. I think those are closer. I'll do that one first. Oh, and I should also inspect. When can I do this again? Okay, every 20 hours. Now let's do Thriller first. That is much, much closer. Also, a ton of experience. That is a mass. Look at that. 46 million. So, yeah. Great for new players right now if you're grinding up. Oh, yeah. Something they also changed is they got rid of experience, permanent experience, which I'm glad I'm now max level, but they gave three 12 hours and also a limited time experience crown, which I think might be tradable, but I think you literally can't get it anymore if you don't already own times two. But I basically have a plus 20% permanent increase if I wear that. So if whenever I'm level grinding in future updates, we're going to be good. Or well, not as good as we used to be, but much better than anyone who just started playing. I love how I'm already to that point where now I'm better off than players who just started playing, despite only been playing for less than two weeks. Oh yeah, she's also getting caught up. There's one thing I've done since last video. It's only one thing. Also, what did get there? We got 20 candies for that. Much better. There we go. But I finally traded for a Hydra Tail. I think it was like 8,000 carats, which is a little overpriced. But I finally upgraded my main hat. So I have 15% health and 30% damage. So we are set. I think the next thing I want to get is the Inferno Cape. That I think that is my main goal. Okay, left for dead. Last quest. Just to see how much we get per day. I mean, I mean, they might be random amounts of money, but at least roughly. Okay, there we go. That gave me... I didn't see how much that gave me. Okay, we have 45 candies from one daily. Oh, let's see a raid. Let's see if we get candies from this, if it's guaranteed, because they said they drop it. Let's see. Do we get any candies from this? I got a wolf fruit. I got six candies. That's actually a pretty significant amount considering how much the dailies give you. So yeah, I'm grinding those is where it's at. Just grind those until you can get enough to buy anything. Let's see, this one for a second one. That one gave nine. I bet it didn't go even higher because nine's an off number. How do you spawn this? If to summon, if they use 50 candies to summon Jack-O-Lantern. Wait a second. I think that's the same boss, but it does. I don't think it has the drop chance. I mean, does it say? I wonder if it's the same drop chances. You know, I just had an absolute genius idea. You're gonna have to give me a moment. <laughs> this is perfection. I love it. Let's do this. It's... Okay, that was cool. Three million health though. Well, let's absolutely destroy this boss, I guess. 
Oh, by the way, they removed the sound to observation hockey so I can actually hear. He's level 10,000 with 3 million health. That is so overkill. It's perfect. Yeah, well, half of his health is gone. We're not doing too bad. Because he's a normal sized boss, you can't use the normal boss killing things to deal a bunch of damage fast. And he's almost dead. There we go. Five gems, a million, and 25 million experience. That's, the experience is nice. And it doesn't drop candy, so that means everyone has to grind for it instead of just continuously fighting the boss. I love being Brooke. I can type so many bad jokes. Oh, God! That's, that scared me down to my bones. <laughs> Who spawns it on their own? Are you insane? We could die here. Although I'm already dead, so. Let's see, second kill, no drops. I love this Brooke outfit, it's so nice. Okay, I didn't participate, but let's see what happens if you loot a Sea King chest. Uh, 67 candy. Let's go do a ghost ship now, because the ghost ship's also here because they spawn every hour. Oh, and look at that. They have health bars now. That's really nice. Now we actually see how much stuff has without doing really weird camera angles to see it. Okay, this one gave me five candy and a gem. Five more candy, six more candy, and six. Honestly, yeah, these are really, really good. You can get a lot of candy every single hour if you just do those. Because we're at 175 right now. Which is a pretty good portion of what we actually need. 350 for the first one, 500 for the second, and 750 for the third. We only need 1600 to buy all through those items and however long it takes us to get Pumpkin Smasher. And no drops. You get quite a bit of money for this though, because I have 54 million, I just realized. So yeah, these are worth running. Okay, I'm in a grinding server for the Pumpkin Smasher, which I'm pretty sure might be the only reward this thing drops. And I think it's around a 1% chance. So it might take a while, but it's gonna be worth it because the Pumpkin Smasher is incredibly pricey to trade for. Or at least it used to be. I don't know how much it is right now. No, this is gonna be fun. Okay, first boss. Yeah, this thing's gonna die so fast. We have so many people here. I've dealt 250,000 already. And sorry, I lost a million health. I'm actually doing quite a bit of damage. If I'm dealing a fourth of the damage, like roughly, and there's this many people, I'm doing really well. This fruit is really good. I can't even see it. I'm just guessing where he is. <laughs> just shoot into the crowd and hope for the best. Oh, he's up there. And first boss, nothing. Second one. This is gonna be constant. Okay, second boss, nothing. 500,000 damage though. I'm proud of myself. And this is, this is constant. Oh yes, this is great. If we don't get it from this, I don't know how we're going to get it. Okay, there we go. Third boss, nothing. Nothing on the fourth. And nothing again. We're going to get it. I'm determined. This is also a really good grind for gems and money because you get so much per round. Okay, nothing that time. I almost feel bad for this boss. Nothing that time. Nothing on that one. If I was trying to level up, I'd be leveling up so fast. Like, the amount of experience we're getting is a massive amount. Nothing on this one. We've killed so many already. That is incredible. Okay, nothing on that one. Okay, nothing on that one. Nothing on that one. Nothing. And none on that. Killing so many bosses. Nothing. 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 Nothing that time. Ooh, we get the hollow lamp for free. There we go. We can get the other drop. Well, there we go. Limited time, 5% sword damage and 75 and 7.5% reduced sword damage. So there we go. First limited item. Glad we finally got something. So at least I know that we can actually get stuff. I was starting to think it wasn't possible to get anything. I just wish this dropped battle pass experience. If this dropped battle pass experience, I would do this all day. Like this would be the most perfect time to grind battle pass. Okay, nothing. We're almost to a thousand gems. Nothing. Nothing on that one. Hey, the pumpkin head. Let's see, 4% all, plus 4% to all my damage and reduces all damage by 5%. Let's go, that's two of the three or four drops. I only have to buy one more item if I were to buy it. And then also the PKS, the main item we need. But I'm glad we got another drop. We're making progress. Nothing. And none on that one. We have 1,016 gems now. That We've done a bunch, my lord. 80 million cash too. Okay, none that time. Okay, none on that one. Okay, none there. Nothing. Okay, nothing on that. Nothing. Nothing on that one. None again. Okay, none that time. And not that time. Nothing. 
But both Sea King and Ghost Ship spawns. So let's go fight those. Oh my gosh, the sound of flame fruits is so crazy. This all three, just three flame fruits flying through the air. That is actually so much fun hearing that as a group. Because there's so many people here, I'm just gonna do a little bit of damage and then just let everyone else kill it. Okay, there we go. Tier one. Two seeking blood, not too bad. It's like fighting a pumpkin boss, just it's on the water and no one can get close. Okay, there we go. Not too bad. Gems and candy and more candy. Not too bad considering all the drops I either have or they are insanely rare. Okay, nothing on that boss. I'm gonna hit 100 million doing this. That's a lot of money. Nothing again. Nothing again. That was weird. The boss disappeared and it just died. It wouldn't let us spawn another one. That was weird. Okay, nothing that time. And okay, nothing again. Nothing again. Nothing. And nothing. Nothing. Dang it. Not that time either. Nope. Nope. No drops again. Nope. Nothing again. Oh my gosh, there's been so many rounds. We're still doing more. Let's keep going. Nothing. 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 Okay, nothing again. Nothing. Nothing. Ooh, the shawl. There we go. Last drop. Now it's just the hammer. 5% fruit damage. That's not too bad. And reduced fruit damage by 7.5. They're honestly not that bad. They're just better hats. Like overall, three of these are quite nice. And they cover all the grounds. They have fruit, sword, and everything. Literally just need the rarest item now. Yay. <laughs> nothing. <coughs> nothing. 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 Nothing again. Nothing again. Nothing again. Nothing. 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 Oh my god, why is this working so well? They said to just M1? <laughs> what the heck? We're just dragon standard M1ing and it's working so well. What the heck? I can't because of the ta <laughs> How could I turn on the party member thing or turn it off? That is so many things on the screen. Oh my gosh, why is this working so well? Why is this working so well? I can't even tell if I'm hitting if it wasn't for the hit marker. I can't I don't even know where the guy is. Oh my gosh. Oh there you go. That is so much faster. My screen is just, you can't attack your party members. That's all my screen is now. This is so cursed. That is so cursed. This is just, this is just dumb that this is working. Awesome. I can't see what I'm getting because of the text. Meleeing is way too powerful. I'm, I'm gonna guess I get, I'm gonna guess I'm getting nothing unless this alerts me that I get something. I just, I'm doing like 400,000 damage immediately. What the heck? I'm at 500,000. I'm, I'm actually doing a lot. Wow. But Sea King and Ghost Ship now. Let's do it. Okay, Sea King's dead. That was instant. Okay, Ghost Ship is dead. Just some candy, nothing too good. Does that guy have a gun? Okay. Why is that so effective? That is so bizarre. My lord. I died. Oof. Nothing again. Nothing again. I'm gonna end up with like 10,000 gems before I ever get this sword, aren't I? Nothing. Dang, I died again. If I don't use Acro, I just die. I do way less damage, but I'm actually healing with it. Ah, no drops. Nothing. 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 Nothing again. Nothing. Another with nothing. Nothing again. Another. Nothing again. Nothing. Nothing. I think I started with like 600 gems. Maybe 700. So I think I've already done like 120 bosses. Just trying to get this weapon. Nothing. Oh my gosh, this one's the fastest one to die. Why is this one so fast? At least I got rewards there. And nothing that time either. Nothing. Nothing again. Oh my gosh, just give it to me, please. Okay, nothing with that one. Nothing. Nothing. Come on, give it to us, please. Nope. You know, at this point, I'm willing to trade for it. I'd like to get it because it'd be way more fun, but at this point, oh my lord. Am I lucky with me today? Oh, that's a, that one's dying really fast. Did that one give it to us? Nope. Anything? Nope. Nope. No drop. Nothing. And I think that's all I can do in this server. Everyone's out of money. I just want to see how much do we need to upgrade these accessories? Oh, we need candy for these. And also expensive materials. My lord. This one also requires candy and ex very expensive materials. Vampire fluid. I don't see many people with that. 
And then the shawl. Yeah. I'm gonna need to get a lot of these two materials and a lot of extra candy if I want to level these up. Which I probably should do at some point before the event ends. Or at least get the candy for it. Can you upgrade experience crown? You can for feathers. I'm gonna do that later whenever I need experience. I don't need experience right now. But hey, the items are kind of cool. The, the pumpkin actually works well with me. And then the shawl is nice too. Not animated though. And then the lamp. Okay, nothing from the first one of this server. There's like no one here, so you can't do the sword tactic. You need a lot of people for that one to work. Okay, nothing from this one. Uh, another or nothing. Ah, join a new server and there's a ghost ship. Perfect. Like right on my spawn too. Easy. Not too bad. Okay, nothing there. Nothing again. Okay, nothing. 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 Okay, I just didn't get enough percentage that time. Okay, nothing there. Okay, nothing that time. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing again. Oh my gosh, it's so fast. I love this. No drops. Nothing. 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 Nothing again. Oh my gosh, just please give it. Okay, not that time either. We are never getting this thing. Nothing. Nothing this time. Nothing nothing i'm about to hit 20 million cash and i still don't have it okay nothing that time nothing again nothing i've, I've officially hit 200 million i just checked i've run 150 rounds i've killed this thing 150 times so far what the heck if this thing's one percent drop chance statistically i should have gotten it like two hours ago <laughs> Man, I'm so glad we found this faster way to kill it with the swords because like the last like 100 rounds were way faster than whatever we did before. We're killing it like three, four times as fast depending on how, depending on how much we fling the boss. Okay, not that. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, nothing again. Nothing, nothing, nothing again. Nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing again, nothing, 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 nothing again, nothing. I'm sorry, guys, I'm folding. I'm folding. I've done too many rounds. It's taken way too long. I'm paying for it. I'm paying for the pumpkin smasher for a legacy pose. It's been all day grinding this and I did a bunch of it last night, too. But there we go. We have the pumpkin smasher. Totally legit. Oh, finally. I, I didn't get it, but I traded for it, I guess. Ooh, it looks really good if you have the hockey on it. Most weapons don't look that good when you have the hockey. But this one actually looks really good because you can still see the pumpkin. But yes. Ooh, look at that. That's cool. I like it. So apparently they revamped this weapon too. So I just want to quickly show it off for everyone that's wanting to see it um okay let's see hammer spin hold nothing let go i spin that was expected um and then the solid break with x that was pretty cool not gonna lie that was pretty cool i wonder if that's actually will that prevent enemies from getting up to me no you're gonna chase after me if i go ahead and just do this yeah it keeps them away 12,000 damage. Not too bad. And that is 2,000. Honestly, quite a bit of damage. Not gonna lie. Now, apparently, if you have the pumpkin head, it does more. Let's actually, let's actually do a direct comparison. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one round of melees. 23,000 damage. Now, if I go ahead and equip the pumpkin head, let me actually kill you. Apparently, it's supposed to do more damage. Let's confirm this. A little more? I mean... It does have an increase to all damage. That's, that's what's doing it. But it, there was supposed to be some combo thing. There's supposed to be something that makes it deal more. Like, is it this? Okay, that did 12,000. Now let's do it with the pumpkin head. Okay, no, it's not the same. I, I don't know. I heard that somewhere. I don't, I don't think it's probably a lie. Let's try it with the lamp. Like, all, all that looks like it's doing the same. Honestly, not sure. If I'm doing the idea correctly, but just not using the right items, let me know. Because I did hear that... The pumpkin head made one of the attacks in the pumpkin smasher deal just way too much damage. Honestly, not sure, but I finally got it. I had to trade 350 Robux for it, but I've honestly been doing it forever. And I'm just kind of at my limit for how many times I can do that round. Oh my gosh. But uh, hey, now that I have that, I also have the sweet lozenge. I'm only missing 
I think technically three or four swords now, one of which requires a ton of bounty, so I'm not going to be able to get that. Because according to this leaderboard over here, there are only 24 people in the entire game that have enough bounty to have the item. So yeah, that's not happening. Hunter Blade, a true rare. But I did the thing. Hammer acquired.